It all started, well I don't know when it all started. There is no start, only <sighs> getting complicated. This is the problem. Lobodo put on his shoes to go for a walk. He just wanted it to be simple, but then it got complicated when he started thinking. He went out to walk in the noise. Sometimes when he went out, he went out often. Sometimes it was summer and it was really hot and very noisy. Sometimes it was winter. A whole lot of things happening all over the place. It's not an either or situation. It's a multiplicity, many factors. To enter the season of darkness, this, it's something like a quarter to three in the afternoon, but it feels like the end of the day. The books, I like to read the books that I enjoy. Emile Plateau by Gilles Deleuze and Felix Guattari. It's volume two of Capitalism and Schizophrenia. And I just read over breakfast this morning a little section about uh, thresholds, passageway from one moment to the next. So, okay, I'll, I'll describe this idea and then back up and give more of an introduction. So it's kind of like, it made me think of passageway, thresholds. At what point is it no longer autumn? And at what point does winter begin? Where is the exact line? Can you put your finger on the exact instant when it is no longer autumn and it is now winter? Can you do that without referring to the artificial construct of a calendar or a clock? You can't find it in nature a clear line separating the two. Out for a morning walk before sunrise on November 12th and it's a snow, a lot of snow. A whole bunch of things come Here together. A whole bunch of singularities oh, my goodness. accumulate to form a situation. Characteristics, the checklist associated with winter in the Northern Hemisphere can be simply summarized with the expression winter, but it involves sing singular elements such as temperature, position of the earth in this particular place on earth in relation to the sun. In winter, the earth, Montreal, is slightly f tilted away from the sun. Cold, snow, wind, shorter days, are characteristics of winter in Montreal. As you go to the limit, there's a change in state, similar to a phase change. When water boils, steam rises, and eventually the water evaporates. Or if the water gets cold, if the temperature goes down enough, the water changes from liquid to solid. So from liquid to gas, or liquid to solid, our phase changes. And similarly, as the earth is in motion, everything is moving and the earth is moving and tilting away from the sun. The weather changes from summer to autumn to winter and eventually back to spring and summer again. All of the senses come into play every moment and there's constant change. One moment it's summer, the next thing you know it's winter again. It's useful to contemplate change and movement because there's a tendency to want to pin things down, to put a fence around things and say, this is the way it is. But in fact, things are always changing. The moment you say, this is the way it is, that's past. Even if you write it in a dictionary definition, the dictionary has to be updated. Every year there's a new edition of the dictionary. 
the attempt to try to dominate and control, to try to have the last word, to try to slam, you, slam your fist on the table and tell it the way it is, is based on many levels of delusion and confusion. There's the confusion about the nature of self, and there's confusion about the complexity of reality. In order to dominate something, you try to simplify it into something, into a package, into a territory, and then you try to build walls around it and set up an army and try to protect and defend this territory against elements that call these boundaries into question. Two models of mind, the tree model and the rhizome model. Tree model based on the image of a tree. The tree trunk is the central body of knowledge. Everything relates back to the central authority of church, state, academy. The categories are like the tree branches, the branches of knowledge. The rhizome model, rhizomes are the roots of grass that spread out in an infinite network. And there are many centers of power where roots cross, you may have little trees growing or many trees growing. It's not just one central tree trunk that controls everything. Rhizome model is one of exploration, nomad, lines of life. Open mind, the creative mind, the rhizome is one that has no limit, no beginning, and there is no end. There is no subject. The subject is just a temporary situation, like an event, and it's constantly undergoing change and modification, just as the body is constantly changing from birth all the way through to death. The body goes through many changes, so one self goes through many changes. And so the idea is to keep your mind open. The rhizome model would involve constant modification, new experience. You grow from decade to decade, even from hour to hour, from minute to minute, there are subtle changes. A whole bunch of things going on in the cosmos, a whole bunch of forces, a play of forces and various ways of looking at things various impulses, a whirlwind, a flux of experimentation, of trial, of trying and failing, and ups and downs, the wheel of life, a chaos most vast, infinite form and passion of structure and expression. Vous plaît, refermez la porte.